Hello and welcome to ChiefTutor.com training videos on Chief Architect. In this lesson we'll be discussing how to make skylights with Chief Architect. So here I have a basic room that I've created and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and put a roof on it. We'll just build a roof because obviously if we're going to put skylights in we should have a roof. Okay so here's how we do it. We want to use the drop down and go to skylights click and holding down your left mouse button just drag on the screen the direction you want your skylight to go in. I'm just gonna let go right there we're done that's it that's all there is to it. So Let's go ahead and take a look there's our skylight. We'll also notice if we zoom in that Chief Architect made the shaft going from the roof to the ceiling height of that room and the skylight is complete. It even lets you modify it in the 2D or the 3D you can open it up and change its frames width or height. You can also change the way it was built inside, so that, that hole that's built inside. You can do plumb square sides or both. If you do both, then it does one plumb and one square. Uh, you can choose to take off the automatic generated hole, uh, or you can manually manipulate the hole yourself. And you can generate the shaft to the ceiling hole as an on or off option which is all pretty easy and self-explanatory but the question that was raised was how to make a round skylight because the skylight doesn't have that option and chief x whatever i think from version one to now it it just even to x2 um it just doesn't have the round option but uh we can get there we can get there it's a little bit of a workaround but we can do that so let's do that uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the CAD tools and I'm just going to draw the circle of where I want the skylight. Okay, once I have it the way I want it, I'm going to select it and use this, Convert Polyline. And I'm going to convert it to a hole in the ceiling platform. Click OK. And click OK again. Now with that done, I'm going to copy and paste it in place. I want to create the exact same hole again. So I'm going to do that and create it again and it's already exactly in the same spot. Now what I want to do is I want to use this button convert to plain polyline. So I'm going to take it away from being a hole down to a plain polyline and that'll leave the original hole there unaffected. So click OK. So now I have the right to change it to whatever I want. So I'm going to hit this convert to polyline now and I'm going to turn it into a 3D molding line. Click OK and I'm going to go ahead and use this shape and I'm going to say about um, oh I don't know 8 inches high uh, my width to be 0. 0.5 and 109 and an eighth inches off the ground offset click OK now let me show you what I built if we take a look in here we'll see that we have a hole in the ceiling the exact way we need just like the skylight that's generated here and I created this piece of molding around it I can double click it and I can make it as high as I want to make it. I just want to be careful as I go that it's going to not stick through the roof, which it's doing in this case. So let's go ahead and take a look. You can see it's popping through the roof there. So that's an option. You can pop it through or not. It's totally up to you. But uh, the main thing now is I can simply just draw a skylight over the hole that I've created. I'm going to double click it and I'm going to make sure it does not generate a shaft to the ceiling hole and do not generate a ceiling hole because I already have the hole that I want. So now let's take a look on our back side of our house here and we'll see that there's the hole and it goes straight down to the ceiling and straight up through to the skylight. Now of course I can change the height of this if I feel I need to. Like let's take this down to say 24 and that way it doesn't look so bad from there and you can still pull elevations um, and you can try to show it as a round one if you wanted to uh, by snapping the edges but basically this shows where the skylights located and then from the 3d perspective views on the inside it's important because it does show it the correct way and simply just uh, grab the color of the drywall and apply it to the molding that you created and it looks great and from there if you want you just simply copy and paste them I mean, if you wanted more um, let's say I want to take all that except for that copy and paste another one maybe put it here <coughs> excuse me 
see if I can edit that out and there you go so you can go nuts with it and it should work fine I mean uh, the ray trace should pick up the light coming through it hopefully all's well that ends well um, just remember to put a skylight over the second one um, in this case I just uh, had plugged that one in so I think it's just shining naturally but this one's actually letting the light in um, so there it is that's how you uh, mess with uh, skylights here at chief tutor.com use an x2 hopefully in the future versions they will figure out how to make that uh, round skylight easier but until then this is the trick of the trade